Hello, Divine Feminines, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Divine Feminines, I am here to do a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Um, don't try to force any reading into your world, okay? And thank you so much, um, everybody, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that keeps this channel growing. Thank you so, so much for all of your support, all my subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you. Okay, so we've got card slinging. Okay, so the Page of Cups in reverse. Um, okay. The, I, what I'm playing with a new deck here, um, this is the Cirque du Tarot deck, right? Um, and I, I started using this deck today, so I'm really digging it. Um, okay, the first thing I'm seeing here is your person is under judgment. If you look at this, I'm, I'm you know, the Six of Pentacles here. Um, what are they going to give back to the situation? Are they going to balance these scales out or not? Um, it really reminds me more of justice. And they're shining the light right at this person's in the spotlight when it comes to the divine. I really feel like this, your masculine is under serious judgment right now. That even though it's this is a six of pentacles, I'm seeing judgment here. Um, and you know what, here's your energy, Divine Feminine, the Empress, okay? What I'm really seeing, though, if you look close at these cards, your motion is exactly the same. Your pose is exactly the same. I feel like they're, this person's under judgment, and it's mirroring the your energy, okay? So it's almost like... You get to be the judge and jury here, but the spotlight is on your person. The divine is like really on top of your person here when it comes to what they did to you. And here you are, you, you know, you've got this little bell here, right? You ring the bell and uh, whatever you want just comes towards you, okay? You're attracting things to you. Um, birthing new things, um, very abundant here. Uh, you're, you know, your empress energy, you're pampering your, your pretty booty right now, you know? Um, that's what you're doing. But meanwhile, it's almost like your energy is commanding um, this person to take their judgment. I, I, I can't quite put it into words, guys. It's kind of, it's really strong, powerful energy with these two cards out here. And you can clearly see the pose is exactly the same. It's almost as if, I know this is going to sound weird, but it's almost as if this person's being judged by your ghost and your energy, you know? Um, yeah, and with this, it's all because this person never came in to make things right. They didn't come in to give you any kind of apology or anything for all the stress and the chaos that they put you through. Five of Wands stuff, they put you in a comp. They put the Empress into some kind of competition here, I feel. And this person was supposed to come in with some kind of offer. Uh, make it right, at least give you a flipping apology, right? You know, when you wrong somebody, you give them an apology. This person wasn't doing that, so now I feel like they're on their knees. Look at this person's on their knees, feeling small next to all this power. I'm telling you, this person's under a major judgment. Yeah, look, feeling like a fool. You know, I feel like this person, they, they needed to take a, a leap of faith here, and they, they didn't. And now they're being judged by the universe. Everything that this person's done, every um, impulsive action, right? Everything that they did without thinking. I, I feel like this person may have even tried to get away with some things here, okay? Um, but they didn't. Everything they did, the divine saw, okay? Yeah, and now, um, now they're on their knees. They know that they're being watched by a higher power, okay? Especially when it came to how they treated the Empress. All right, what else can you show me for Divine Feminine? 
How's okay? This one wants out. Ten of Wands. I'm telling you, third party situations. This person's holding on tight to third parties and multiple people. Okay. Um, five of Wands. That's uh, competition. And I feel like I feel like this is the judge here. This person here is standing in front of them. This person's what did I say on their knees, and they're being asked. You know, you need to put these wands in this basket too, and put some things behind you. You know, you need to put some things behind you and move forward. This is a completion card. You need to take this wand here and put the rest in this box behind you. And this person really doesn't want to do that. It's like they don't want to let go of their lifestyle. I had um, another reading like this yesterday. But I'm also hearing that, they, you know, this person really just doesn't want to come forward to apologize. They just don't. You know? And they have a decision to make. They need to decide out of these three wands that they're holding here. They, they need to make a decision and choose a path. I feel like this person just, they didn't want to move on something. They didn't want to come and apologize. Um, I feel like they liked playing games here and putting you in a competition. And they did it. I mean, they, they were acting foolish. This person was a fool. They played an empress here, ten of swords. Yeah. And now it's done right there's i feel like this is your energy here kind of looming over this is an ambulance and this person is getting stabbed in the back by those by those three that they hang on to so much i feel like this person had other options and they missed out on a soulmate connection here with you yeah Instead, they got nothing but pain and an end to a cycle because they held on. They didn't make any move. They didn't take any action to come and make things right. They acted a fool. They did impulsive things. They put you in a competition. This person's heavily being judged, you guys. And this is a very strong energy. Um... They're being judged by how they treated you. Same pose and everything. Because you're like royalty, you know? You're a divine feminine. Death, yeah. That's the end of this person. I feel like this connection is coming to an end here. This is man down. Ten of Swords energy. This person could could feel very betrayed, but I feel like it's it's only because they wouldn't do anything to make things right with this Empress. They're under judgment, and since they chose not to make things right and hold back and play little games and be a fool, death, Wheel of Fortune, um. Yeah, something needs to come to an end. But, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this person has a chance to turn things around here. They do with their wish fulfillment. You're the Empress in the Minor Arcana. You, you've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. Um, you're very abundant. You, you, you're single out here, right? But you're happy being single. You're, yeah, very independent, very financially stable. They, they missed out on something huge here. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is turning because the last cycle is over. Your person failed to um, end this cycle properly. They failed it. Um, and I feel like now they know they were being tested here. They, knew, they know now it was a test. This person's on their freaking knees. I feel like this person's kind of afraid of what's going to happen. Um, clearly, they can see that they're going down and you're coming up, okay? They're going down and you're coming up. Seriously, you're having a glow up here. But you were their true soulmate connection, you know? 
Knight of Wands, and I feel like they played you. They played you and did nothing about it. They did. They played you. This person, you know, they could have come in and promised you a lot of things. You know, oh, we're going to be happy, and um, you're so beautiful, and, you know, they really schmoozed you, and they were very charismatic, um, and then they used you, and they left as quickly as they came in. Pro most likely, they abandoned you with no no form of communication whatsoever because i feel like they liked they liked um the feeling of people competing for them they like to stir up this kind of chaos okay they like to see what it did to people because i feel like it fed their ego it made them feel like a bigger person you know but the divine is like you know you need to take a good, harsh look at what you did. Get on your knees. You know, I feel like this person's getting afraid of what's going to happen to them. Because look, so far, they're getting backstabbed, betrayed what, with whoever they else they were dealing with. They had other options. It's man down, right? Death. Um, that means, like, they're not getting any doors of opportunity opening up. Things are falling apart in their life, I feel. The end of this connection, because you're worthy of somebody who's not going to come in and freaking use you and be a fool. You're far too important. I feel like the divine is gifting you with all of this abundance because this person really disappointed you, okay? And I feel like they're telling this person the same thing. Very disappointing. Yeah, now they know. Look, suffering bereavement. Yeah, now they know. Yep, they can see it clearly now. Now this person is like frazzled and kind of freaking out because they're, they're sort of crying over spilled milk here. But this is losing everything. Like literally everything. Losing, losing all of the options that this person had. Um, losing your connection, right? Feeling guilty, feeling ashamed. Um, people may be looking at them like, what, what did you do here? You, you used an empress. You never made it right. And now you missed out on your ten of cups. What were you thinking? I feel like other people are starting to ask this person like, are you nuts? Like, for real. Because people can clearly see you're in Empress energy succeeding big time with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles. Loving, right? A true soulmate connection here. You're that pearl. Um, yeah, and they literally could have had ultimate wish fulfillment with you. I feel like there's other people around them that are, I mean, it's kind of like... Once once it was found out that you were so abundant, I feel like people were freaking shocked, right? And now they're shocked to find out that your person could have had a chance at your side and they freaking blew it. So I feel like people that are in their circle are questioning this person. Like, are, seriously, are you nuts? Uh, and, I, the, you know, they know they're under judgment here. They know they are. They're on their knees now, kind of begging for a second chance with the Empress, from what I can see. You know, four of wands, yeah. This person wants to build something solid with you now. They want to come back towards you now. They Now they think that you're the one for them, Queen of Pentacles energy, the one they would want to commit to. More than worthy of a commitment here, okay? As a matter of fact, your person's going to be hard-pressed to find another person like you who's this abundant, this much of an empress. I mean, you're creating your own empire here. Um, yeah, so now they want to get back together, build something solid, right? Now they know you're the one. After they completely screwed it up, you know... But yeah, I, I feel like I, and here's strength, right? You've got it going on with strength. Like, you know what you're doing. You're This is like easy for you, right? 
I feel like your person, though, um, they're trying to get the strength to come forward here towards you. And they hold you in very high regard from what I can see. They're, they're putting you on a pedestal here. Okay. Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They're hanging on to your energy. Getting ready to talk here. Putting on that glove. Getting ready to come in here and communicate. You could be dealing with an air sign. Could be dealing with the Pisces as well. Leo. Clarify this Knight of Swords. The only thing with this Knight of Swords is I don't see the sword. I see them preparing to come in and talk, right? Usually they fly in really fast to communicate, but Six of Swords. Wanting to get this to calmer waters with you. I feel like this person's going to come rushing in. I really do. Rushing in, wanting to get things to calmer waters. I don't see them putting a whole lot of thought into the communication, though. This seems like an impulsive move. Um, once other people in their inner circle ask them, are you, are you crazy for passing up this chance with this empress? Are you a nut? I mean, seriously. That's what the people in their inner circle are asking them. How could you just, like, like there's, one of them is pointing at this. Like, how could you do this? One of them is pointing at their head like, like what were you thinking? Yeah. So now they're trying to get the strength to come in on their knees, knowing that they're suffering karma, knowing that this connection is ending here. Um, yeah, all right, so what else can you show me? What else? There we go. Yeah, they want this love, Ace of Cups. They want this love with you, okay? This person's coming in, but they, they didn't before. Um, they were holding on to other options, holding on to whether or not they should come in, um, trying to get the strength to come in. I feel like the other people are just gasping at what they lost here, like for real. I feel like word's gotten out as to how abundant you are, that you're in Empress energy, Possibly that you're a soulmate. You're definitely this person's wish fulfillment. And people are literally like, oh, what? You actually lost your wish fulfillment, ultimate happiness, and a blessing in love? What, what are you doing? Right. As soon as, as soon as other people chimed in, this person got on a boat, put their gloves on, got on a boat, and now they're on their way here to get this Ace of Cups. So, yeah, in a lot of regret, too, over everything falling apart. Higher font. I feel like this person um, has been learning a lesson, actually, regarding this love. You know, that Ace of Cups there, that's this one. I feel like they were being, they're being shown now. Um, the multitude, like, they're being shown the ultimate importance of this connection. Okay? Divine Feminine. I mean, this is a divine connection. So, you know, this person, they, I feel like, that's what the divine is saying here. We expect you to act better than this. If you're on a divine, uh, a divine journey and you're a divine masculine, we expect you to act better. Look at how they're pointing up here. We're expecting you to balance these scales. We're expecting you to give back to this empress. You have expectations. You know, um, they've, they've, they're a divine masculine. The divine expects better from this person. 
and they need to get up off their knees and come in and make this right. This is what they're being led to do. They are being literally shown and taught about blessings, this, this particular blessing in love. It's really strong energy, guys, okay? Um, ooh, those, did you see those pop up? That's got to be significant. Two of Swords, I feel like you're blocking this out, but you're being led to. Do you see how this is the face of the divine here? And it's almost like they've they've got your legs on these strings like, um, like a puppet, okay? You're being led to move forward. You are being led to, you know, look, if they expect better from the divine masculine, so should you. Yeah. They're like, we expect him to act right. You need to expect him to act right. And if this masculine doesn't act right, make that decision to move forward, okay? So I feel like you're being led forward here. You've made the decision. You're, you're blocking this out. You've cut, you've cut this off because you do deserve better treatment than this. Four of Swords. Yeah, because I feel like your person's sleeping on it, but I feel like this is you putting it to rest. That's you up there, I feel. Um, this is you putting this to rest and moving forward here, which is what the divine wants you to do. Everyone, ex everyone is expecting better out of the masculines. Especially divine masculines, okay? You're expecting better treatment out of people, and so is the divine. And they're literally, they're, they're shining the spotlight. It's almost like they've got this person trapped in a, in a temple here, talking to them while they're on their knees, praying. They know what's expected of them spiritually, right? All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, you and the divine both expect better from this person. So this is a grown-ass person here. They have the power to come in and, and apologize for doing somebody so wrong. All right, what else can you show me? Especially after all the effort that you've put into yourself, you know? What else can you show me? I feel like this person let fear hold them back, right? Yeah, now they're making a plan. Now they're playing. Look, I feel in a way like this person tried to get away with something. That's really what I'm feeling like here. They tried to get away with it, but they're not. It's almost like the divine in this dark room. The divine just turns on a light switch, right? Boop. Now all of a sudden they're in the spotlight. Yeah, this person can't get away. Everything that they did to you, the divine has seen. And the divine is holding them to a higher standard now. They need to show spirit something, okay? This is a divine masculine. And, and spirit and you expect better treatment out of this person, okay? Yeah. What what is that saying? Um Oh, something with great like like with the great title that they have, it um comes great responsibility. What is that what is that saying? I'm all I'm hearing is comes great responsibility. Um so yeah, it, they've got Look, this is a divine masculine who's acting more like a karmic. And they've, you know, with, with that job comes great responsibility, okay? With that position, it, com it, it comes with great responsibility. They need to act right. And they need to start putting in the effort. They got to stop being a little scaredy cat and... Stand up and, and act right, okay? Yeah, Knight of Cups energy, Four of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this person, you know, it's almost as if, I, I'm kind of seeing this as a sacrifice here. This person may need to sacrifice something before they come in and tell you how they feel. I, I know I'm not reading that normally, okay? But that's literally what I'm seeing here. 
is someone making a sacrifice. And I feel like they may need to do that in order to come in and tell you how they feel about you. Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords. Yeah. I feel like they're scared. Look at the doubt in this person's face. This person's afraid to come forward. Maybe there's some things that they've done in the past that they may not want to tell you about. You know, as this person holds that Ace of Swords, they're questionable as to whether or not they should tell you the whole truth. Okay? Um, yeah, star energy. And I feel like I feel like this person may feel a bit intimidated to come towards you because you are extremely powerful and intuitive here. They know um, if they try to hold any truth back, you're going to sense that. You're going to pick up on all the red flags intuitively. Um, so they're going to, I feel like they they know they can't show how nervous they are. They're not, they're going to have to stay stable and grounded. Um, I feel like they're coming in trying to tell you how they feel and give you the truth, but without any emotion because they know if they show any kind of question mark over what they're saying or they seem at all sneaky with their um, love offer, you're going to freaking know. You're going to know right off the bat. And I'm telling you what, you are not putting up with any more crap. So I feel like when this person comes in, they're going to try to be as calm and chill and even keeled as humanly possible. Um, they're going to try not to be in their emotions. They're going to try not to be nervous or at least not to look nervous, okay? And I feel like this person, by the way, we've got the, now we've got the king to the queen of pentacles. I feel like they're going to take that pentacle there and they're going to offer it to you. But just remember, though, I, I do feel like they're hiding something here. Okay, I do. They're coming in. There's no cup here. They're just putting on a glove. Okay, that's a little creepy, you know. Um, and they've got this sword here with all these question marks. This person's going to be hiding a lot. Hiding a lot. The divine has seen everything, but I feel like this is also a test for you. Okay, I feel like it's a test for you. Moving forward, right, when this person comes forward, I feel like your test is to use your intuition and discernment because this person's going to be hiding some things really well, really well. If you notice like, a, like almost like a business sense to them while they're talking to you, it's because they're trying to not tell you something else. Okay, if they just seem a little bit too serious and dry about things, it's because they're trying to be stable because they know that there's some things that you wouldn't approve of if they told you the whole truth. So be very careful, but they are after this Nine of Cups here, this ultimate wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, that's what you bring to the table. Okay, that's what you bring to the table. But so far, I have to say, your, your person's not bringing a whole lot to the table. I'm feeling a lot of sneakiness here. You have more now, I feel, to offer um, an individual than your person does. And I feel like they're going to be trying to cover up for that. Yeah, look. The emperor, now we've got the emperor to the empress. If this person would act right... Um, you guys could build empires together, but I've got to say they're going to come in feeling like this, looking like this, right? Trying to pretend they're all muscly and strong and they're in control. In all actuality, the spotlight, once again, is on this little guy right here. Knowing that they've been busted, knowing that... Um, Knowing that the divine has seen everything, they haven't gotten away with anything, okay? They're still going to be feeling really small. I feel like it's an act. I got to say, I feel like it's an act. And it it's doesn't really make sense because um, they already know they're being judged by spirit. So what's the point in acting? The spirit, spirit can tell that they're acting. That I feel like maybe that's why you're being encouraged to keep moving forward keep moving forward knowing that you're not alone 
right? You're not alone. Yeah, this person's a magician, okay? Yeah. This one, this one that I'm reading for is a magician. It's a really good act, right? Coming forward, no cup. Not really wanting to tell you the truth about everything, okay? But pretending that they've got everything, like, perfect. You know, it's an act. Yeah. Let's see what your advice is for this, guys. I wish I had better news for you, but that's what I'm seeing in this reading. And, you know, honestly, it's kind of like hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Um, they didn't realize that you were going to be so abundant and, and an empress energy, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, they should have treated you like a human being from the get-go. Okay? And they're having a difficult time being honest with you now when they come in. All right. What's the advice for Divine Feminine here? Resistance. Change. Okay. Yeah, I feel like your person has been resisting change. Maybe this is you as well, but you know, things are going to start getting things are going to get shaken up really fast when this person comes in. I feel like this is kind of test time. This is test time for you. Okay? Because here we have balance and power. Here's the test right in the middle, right? When this person comes in, um, I feel like you're going to have control, okay? Um, you'll probably have more control over yourself and just you've got control over your own abundance. I feel like that's what this person is, is you know, seeing as well as your abundance. But yeah, things are going to start getting shaken up really quick when this person comes forward. It's going to shake up your mind, okay? Um, hang on to your abundance i feel like um you're just supposed to hang on to it okay um be careful how you're spending your money who you're giving your money to all right um but yeah when this shakeup comes this is the test can you remain balanced can you use your intuition your discernment okay your focus are you going to be focused and, and what of your power? How are you going to use that power, Divine Feminine? Because you know you're powerful now. You've got a choice. You can either completely berate this person and let them know every little thing about what happened and get off your throne, or you can remain on your throne, utilize your power in a different way, and they'll go on to learn their lesson. So, you know, it's, this is a test for you, Divine Feminine. How are you going to handle this person coming in? Full well knowing, I think you're going to be able to tell that they're, they're, um, they're acting, right? It's a magic act. So this is all about how you handle this, um, this communication from this person. The divine is already watching this person. They're already under judgment. You get to make the final judgment call of whether or not you get back with this person or keep moving forward, okay? And if you don't get back with this person, or even if you do, how are you going to handle this communication? That's the test. It's going to bring a major shakeup, okay? This person may come in asking for money. Hold firm on that. That's what I'm seeing. Don't give this person any money because this is an act. But other than that, how are you going to handle this? You know, you've got all this power. You know probably with one sentence you could crush this person, right? You know that there's a lot that you have to say, and I'm not saying hold anything back. But I'm just saying, you know, think about all that power that, that you wield. How are you going to use it? Okay? I feel like that's a test for you guys. I can't answer that. That's your own test, man. Um, but, yeah, use your intuition. Try to remain balanced, you know, because this is going to be your test. And you're going to get the final decision on this. But, 
Yeah, definitely use your discernment with this person, okay? Because I really do feel like they're acting here. I really do. Anyway, Divine Feminines, listen, that's what I've got for you for this quick reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney because it's really super cool and all. <laughs> And until next time, Divine Feminines, just know that I love you guys. Take care of you, and peace out.